Today I'm going to do a tutorial on a birthday centerpiece. I've done every holiday there is for all of my YouTubes and I've never done a birthday. So today we're going to do it on a sweet 16. That's an important day. And of course you can change around the numbers and the colors and this will just give you the basis of what you can do for any birthday. So most of my things I usually do from Dollar Tree, but this time I use partly Party City and then Dollar Tree also. So the items from Party City are the Sweet 16 uh, cake plates, of course a one and a six, and these are called an air-filled decoration. Uh, I did get these little candles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to anything, but I have the receipt so I can always take it back. Then Party City had this, which is a congratulations banner. It doesn't have the sign congratulations, but it has these little pieces. I've already taken it out, obviously and this ribbon to hang these from. And this, I love. Look at this, a Make-A-Wish. That's gonna be in it. Now, that's all for Party City. Then, of course, we went to, went to Dollar Tree. Uh, a balloon holder, I always like adding those. Look at this tray, I, I couldn't jump fast enough when I saw these trays. I got a couple of these trays and I'm so excited with them. I went back and there wasn't any. So if for any reason that you can't find this tray, you could use a one of those uh, plastic platters. That would also work. And this uh, two-piece bowl set. Uh, what else am I missing? Shot some shish kebab sticks, by the way, painted a light pink and some styrofoam. And there'll be a couple more things that I've missed. I always miss something. So let's get started. Okay, the birthday celebration is gonna go on top of this. And the way we're going to build this up, because it's actually called a round serving tray. But what we're gonna do is these two bowls, one's gonna go like that, and one's gonna go on top like that. And we're gonna take what is the serving tray, and we're gonna put it, sorry, like that. So this will be built up nice and tall to build our birthday party celebration on. But I did want to mention something to you. If you found any of these, look how great that this would be to just use as a, a cake tray. Perfect, $2. So put that in the back of your mind in case you need a cake tray, that will work too. So I'm gonna glue this together like this, and then I'll be back. Now the E6000 really has to dry on that. I don't know if I mentioned I'm gonna hot glue in E6000. It's gonna have to dry, but the hot glue's holding it very well for now. Now I wanna make sure that you understand what this is from Party City. It's those little flags. And I came up with an idea of taking the flags, connecting them together with the piece of ribbon that came with the kit, and I started to put all the shiny side, the glittery side, and then I said, no, do I wanna use the other side? And then I decided, well, you know what? I'll just alternate it. So to let you know um, how easy that went is, I just tied uh, the end of the ribbon to a little bobby pin. And I then just took it and put it in and out and in and out. I'm leaving the shiny side um, overlapping the dull pink side. The reason being is, hold on, let me turn, I have to turn this to show you because that's actually the other side. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. On these pink side, it has a little number, it has a little name on it. So by putting the shiny side on top, it covers that little name up. Now there's 12 of these and I've weaved them all together in this long string and it just so happens they fit along this cake tray perfectly. So the way I'm going to, this kind of flipping around right now, I did have them flat on the table and it's gonna be a lot easier if you just work with it flat on the table. Oh, and the ribbon, um, when I went to do the ribbon, where is it, here it is. Uh, it was so wrinkly, so I did iron out the piece that I used, and now I have a paper clip on this end holding it so it doesn't come out, and then I took a little office clip on the other end, so I have the whole piece. Now, my idea is, is to use Dollar Tree double face tape, and I'm just going to run it because it's the perfect width to run it right on the edge there. I want it to be below um, this scallop piece because I think that's so pretty. 
So I'm gonna take and run this around. I'm going to then stick this on, and I think I'm gonna put some glue in between because I, I don't wanna depend completely on this to hold it, but I think I'll put some glue, some E6000 along it. And it, like I said, it does cover the circumference. I'm gonna get that on and then I'll be back. So those 12 triangles made it all the way around perfect. And now I'm just taking the ends. I'm going to tie them up underneath here. I thought I was gonna put some glue, but that Dollar Tree double stick tape is really uh, very strong. So I don't think I'm gonna add any glue to it. I think it's gonna hold on there just the way it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that off and then we're gonna get started on the top. The top we're gonna to make is not going to actually be glued on here. It's just gonna be set on top. Actually, you could end up using it for something else then. And you'll need a piece of styrofoam. I cut this seven inches by two inches. If you have something smaller or bigger, that will work. Um, this styrofoam, I have this translucent um, gift wrap paper. So this styrofoam, I'm going to put inside that translucent paper. now. If you're concerned about seeing that styrofoam through, because you can see it, you can always take a piece of uh, white tissue paper and you can just roll this up. It doesn't have to be fancy at all, like that. Fold this in or cut it, whatever you like. Put it in the middle of this. And then you've got that covered. And before you pull the translucent paper up around this, we're gonna take the balloon holder, and if you want to, you could actually glue it in the middle of that, like that. And then this translucent paper is gonna be brought up around this whole thing. And I ironed another piece of that pink ribbon that came in that little kit, and I'm gonna wrap this around this with this ribbon, and then this will begin the top piece that we're gonna start sticking some items in. I have never used one of these air-filled balloons and I just did the six. We've got big six, <laughs> but it's big 16, so we're gonna use it. Uh, but the instructions were very poor. So just to let you know, that little hole right there that you stick this straw in seems like you're gonna bend the straw getting it in, but you won't. I really pushed and it ended up going through. The straw is very strong. You blow it up, and then as you pull the straw out, run your fingers along it, and it has a little tape in there that will um, uh, seal it off. And then also, on these little tabs that are come on this, the reason there's are little tabs is because it's supposed to be hung on a string. I used my Dollar Tree double stick tape on those tabs and stuck them back. If you see here, um, it doesn't matter. Just stick it back. <laughs> I took a shish kebab stick that I had um, painted pink and I used that double stick tape and ran it on the back here and stuck the sticks on there. I'll tell you what, that tape from Dollar Tree is very strong. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a stick, a painted stick behind this and I'm gonna stick it in here and then I have an idea to fill in this middle and I'll let you know what it is. Okay, so now the only areas to fill in is right in here. I hope you have a big table to put this on because this is a big centerpiece. So you saw that I had bought these uh, paper plates. And what I did was I took and turned them so that they cup this way. And what I did is I took just some, it was leftover styrofoam from all that I cut up from here. I put a piece in here to take up some of the depth inside. I did two of them, like both of them like that. And I'm gonna stick them together. And the reason I'm not just putting up one with, and I'm putting up both, is because back to back, it kind of looks like it, it's like a balloon instead of a paper plate. So now I have the styrofoam in the middle and I'm gonna glue that together. I have glued two of those sticks together. I'm gonna stick it in here and then I'm gonna place it right in that middle where it says Sweet 16. Okay, so to wrap up what's been done is I put the uh, stick on this and pushed it in where it says Make a Wish. The, the paper plate that's turned backwards uh, and I stuck some styrofoam in there so it didn't cave in and I put it on a little stick, that's there. 
and the 16. And then what I did was I had that extra pink ribbon left over from this little kit. So I weaved it in and out to add some more color. Um, this uh, piece of styrofoam right here, you could really make that bigger and almost make it look like a cake. I just needed the base to get all this in. And another suggestion is, once you put your piece inside of there, you have this big border. You could fill that with a candy that matched. I know a lot of, they make the wrappers that uh, say the person's name or the occasion. So you could have that made and you to match and you could fill this whole thing up with candy. And this is not glued down, so um, you can take that out and maybe make something else in there. Um, but think about this. Think about using it for any other birthday. The only thing you would have to do would just be change up the colors, change up the number, and you would have a great piece to be able to celebrate someone's birthday. Thank you for watching this, and please subscribe to my channel.